Hey, Gemini, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of September 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and share with your friends and family. Of course, make sure you hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I go live or upload a brand new video. If you hear sounds, it's probably because my window's open. Um, so also, if you would like a personal reading from me, make sure that you check our, make sure that you check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. You can purchase your reading directly from my website. I do have monthly subscription service reading options, so check that out as well. Um, and once you purchase your reading, I'll send you an email confirmation within 24 hours letting you know that I received your payment. And then, within one to three days or sooner, we will get your reading done, typically sooner than two to three days, okay? Um, you can also call or text me at 703-791-9162. I am on Eastern Standard Time, and standard rates do apply. So with that being said, let's get into it. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, 1st, 12th house, North Node, Chiron, South Node. Basically, if you have Gemini in your chart, this is for you. And if you don't know what I just said, you should probably get a birth chart reading from me. I am an astrologer as well, so check that out on my website. <clears throat> All right, Gemini, for September 2019, we're in uh, we're in Virgo season. We're in Mercury season. Your ruling planet. Are we in Gemini season, or is it Virgo season? Well, the season we're in right now is the season of harvest, the season of gathering and hunting. All right, structure, creating structure in our lives, um, you know, getting rid of what's old and, you know, allowing you to come in. Uh, you know, some of these things can be a bit boring to Gemini. You know, you're kind of, you know, someone who likes to be always on the go. Not always, maybe, but, you know, you're very adaptable, you know, easily adaptable, I will say, to Virgo season, you know, any season in general, but Virgo season especially, it's your home thing, it's your home energy. But what is in store for you specifically this September 2018, Gemini? Let's see. <laughs> Remember, if you want a personal reading, LamarTownsInTarot.com. Okay, Nine of Wands, or Swords here in the past position with the Justice here in the present position. There could be something weigh on, weighing on your heart about right and wrong, about karma. Um, it could be about the legal system, the law. It's going to resonate with all of you. I feel like for most of you, it's going to deal with something about, you know, karma, um, right and wrong. You know, maybe it could even do something with the past, like, you know, something way back, you know, where maybe it goes from childhood. Maybe you didn't feed the dog for three days, you know, and the dog got sick or something like that, but you never told anyone or something like that. Or maybe you were the one that put, you know, gum in Susie's hair and you never told anyone, you know, and Susie had to shave all her hair off. And, you know, it ruined her life for, like, you know, months. You know, I don't know. But the whatever the situation is, it's like you're feeling bad about something. Um, this could also be feeling bad for yourself in some way. Um, especially if you have Pisces energy in your chart or Libra. Um, but it's somehow affecting your personal life, your money, your finances. It could be affecting your job, your career. Something about the past. Maybe the past could be co coming to haunt you um, this month for whatever reason. But I feel like the past is coming back around Gemini in September to actually be rectified to bring closure, all right, in some way, shape, or form. Um, you actually have a decision, though, to go back to the past. So, you know, understand that as well. Know that you don't have to go back, all right? Um... It would it be a good thing to go back? Maybe, all right? Know that there's going to be certain elements about going back that, you know, you're going to instantly remember and be like, oh, this is why I did, you know, left in the first place, you know? So know that going back isn't necessarily a place of solace, all right, in, in September. But it is a catalyst for moving forward in some way, shape, or form. So if there's someone out there, Gemini, and I'm being totally serious, if there's someone out there that you feel like you need to apologize to, even if it's your child, even if it's your sibling, you know, someone from long ago that is just kind of weighing on your heart, that might not be a bad thing to do that. doesn't mean you have to reconcile that relationship and become besties or, you know, close again, but it just means that maybe you, oops, I spilled a little bit of coffee. 
getting too excited and passionate about this um, message, Gemini. Maybe you need that closure to move forward. All right. <clears throat> Love shows up this month, but it shows up maybe as a hardship for some of you. <clears throat> it shows up as not being completely balanced in some way. Could be related to money. I don't know if you and your partner live together. Maybe for some of you, you and your partner don't live together. But there is something about imbalance um, in a love relationship. Could be arguments, argumentative, over money, I feel like, specifically. Could be that your partner's spending too much money. Um, loved ones are spending too much money. Too much money is being spent in some way, shape, or form. And you're trying to rein, you know, rein everything in. But at the same time, it's like... You're trying to maintain your decorum and not stoop to... The drama, you know, the chaos, the pettiness, the complete confusion, you know. I mean, there's a lot of weight, I feel like, on your shoulders for some of you. And for others of you, you're just kind of in the midst of, a, like, a, a, a whirlwind, a crap storm, I feel like, by mid-September. It feels like it could be related to work school, career, living situation. But you come out on top, Gemini. And I feel like you maybe and someone else come up with a plan to overcome the chaos, to get back on track. And it's interesting, if there is chaos, you could actually use that to your advantage. And... It's almost like there's chaos going on over here. It's like you remove yourself from the chaos, devise a plan. You know, meanwhile, you know, the boss is over here in his office. You devise a plan over here to talk to the boss and maybe, you know, show, you know, hey, I've been, you know, you know, trying to improve on my skills and work ethic. I want to race. I want this. I want that. You know, maybe this is your chance to shine, Gemini, right? Um, it's all about timing this month, like, and your, what you choose to spend your energy on and your focus on. Because you spending your energy in the wrong place this month could be you missing out on a blessing. That's such a Virgo season situation. There's always a lesson in Virgo season. Uh, like, it's, like, so annoying. And I'm a Virgo rising, so, you know, it... it I, I get it. I think the lesson here, Gemini, is, you know, where is your focus? You know, um, are you where you need to be? You know, not just physically, not just in your life, you know, you know, physically, but mentally. Are you where you need to be? Are you focusing on what you need to focus on? Are you all missing out on certain opportunities because you're focused on the wrong things, the wrong people? All right. Interesting. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign male who could, could be giving you trouble, specifically towards the end of September moving into October. There could also be another male behind this water sign who's a little bit older in some way, shape, or form. Water signs or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's get some further clarification for my Geminis. For the month of October 2018. Or for September 2018. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> further clarification for Gemini for the month of September 2018. Yes, Gemini. 
future life. And remember, if you want a personal reading from me, you can check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Further clarification for Gemini for the month of September 2018. Yeah, it's like you have some great things going for you already coming into September. There's a little shakiness around you. Could be some shakiness around relationships, friendships. Could actually be someone smiling in your face, but it's the very person causing the most drama in your life. Could be the person closest to you, Gemini. All right? Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right? Could be a fire, specifically Leo. Could be air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. <clears throat> Love shows up again. Love shows up next to the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Hmm. With love, I feel like there's something about boundaries that could be needed here. Because I almost feel like it's like when one thing happens with one person, it's like it happens with the other person. It's like, oh, I got a, I got a new job. The other person's like, oh, we, we got a new job. It's like that kind of energy. And it may starting, it may be starting for you. It may be, start, be starting, how do I say this? Okay, it may be causing you to second guess the relationship second guess the dynamic of the relationship question whether or not you're being used maybe for some of you or this person you know could be feeling this way about you possibly There's also something about a boss who could, like, be very strict or very almost cruel. Like, if they see you notice you slacking or if they notice you having any time of relaxation and being calm and, oh, you know, I'm done with all my work. Let me, you know, you know build, build a rose petal, you know, a uh, castle over here and drink my coffee. And if they see you doing any kind of, you know... <laughs> no hard you know pounding work it's like oh let me find something for you to do let me find ten thousand things for you to do like it's just that kind of work environment and i feel for some of you it could be work that's putting like a lot of stress on you in like your life and your health your mental health specifically all right remember i was talking about your focus earlier so there is something about your focus and your focus kind of being all over the place this month, Gemini. And I feel like it's kind of because you're being pulled in so many different directions, you know. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have so many different responsibilities to live up to um, that there may not be much time to kind of think and process your feelings and emotions and things like that but you need to make time this month for that all right because what i don't want is for this confusion and this lackadaisical energy or spirit you know or i'll get to it tomorrow personality to, to kind of go into October, all right? 
because October is the month where, you know, things kind of need to be all right. This is what I'm doing, you know, and I'm going to stick to it. You know, like this is what I've been doing, you know, since September. Things have been going well. You know, I finally gotten the structure down. Let's keep it going. That's October, I feel like, for Gemini's. If you're not at the place where you've gotten things down, you've gotten a bit more structure in your life, you know, um, uh, the tower in October. I mean, especially if there's something about vices, like using vices as a coping mechanism for stress, as a coping mechanism for I'll get to it tomorrow, you know, um, I'll think about it tomorrow. I don't want to think about it at all. Like suppressing all of that energy, Gemini, not good. All right. So deal with the problems as they come. Deal with the issues as they come. Don't put them off this month. All right. Does that make sense? Not a bad month at all. All right. If it was a bad month, I would say it. And I don't really say it's a bad month, you know, ever for anyone. It's not a bad month, but it's just a month where you really need to shift your focus a bit, maybe, and focus on what's important, which, first of all, is yourself, all right? Period. So, with that being said, I love you all. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, share it. If you would like a personal reading from me, check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. I am available for readings, and I would love to read for you. You can also text me at 703-791-9162. Standard rates apply. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you also check out my social media pages. My Instagram is at Lamar Townsend Tarot. My Facebook is also at Lamar Townsend Tarot. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And also I look forward to seeing you for your own personal reading. Love and light. And have a great month, Gemini. Until the next time.